Don't wait until they tell you you are ready. Get in there. The world might say you are not allowed to yet. I waited a long time out in the world before I gave myself permission to fail. Please, don't even bother asking. Don't bother telling the world you are ready. Show it. Do it. Raise the rest of your life to meet you. Don't search for defining moments because they will never come. The moments that define you have already happened and they will already happen again. And it passes so quickly. Just try not to wait until like me, you're 29 before you find it. And if you are, that's fine too. Some of us never find it. But you will. I promise you. You are already here. That's such an enormous step all its own. You'll find your rhythm or continue the one you have already found. You are here for a reason. Sometimes your insecurities and your inexperience may lead you to, to embrace other people's expectations, standards, or values. But you can harness that inexperience to carve out your own path, one that is free of the burden of knowing how things are supposed to be, a path that is defined by its own particular set of reasons. People told me that Black Swan was an artistic risk, a scary challenge to try to portray a professional ballet dancer. But it didn't feel like courage or daring that drew me to it. I was so oblivious to my own limits that I did things I was woefully unprepared to do. And so the very inexperience that in college had made me feel insecure and made me want to play by others' rules now was making me actually take risks I didn't even realize were risks. When it quickly became clear in preparing for the film that I was maybe 15 years away from being a ballerina, it made me work a million times harder all of these are challenges I should have been terrified of, as I was completely unprepared for them. But my complete ignorance as to my own limitations looked like confidence. Once there, I had to figure it all out, and my belief that I could handle these things, contrary to all evidence of my ability to do so, was half the battle. The other half was very hard work. Make use of the fact that you don't doubt yourself too much right now. As we get older, we get more realistic, and that includes about our own abilities or lack thereof. And that realism does us no favors. What has served me is diving into my own obliviousness. It can be a good thing if it makes you try things you never might have tried. Your inexperience is an asset and will allow you to think in original, unconventional ways. Accept your lack of knowledge and use it as your asset. See, I know something about you, even not knowing you, that you've got greatness within you. You have the ability to do things that you can't even begin to imagine. You have talents and skills in you that you haven't even began to reach for yet. So some of you are going to experience a breakthrough. Some of you are going to go back and look at your dreams and brush them off. Some of you are going to begin to look at yourself and say, hey, look here, I know I have not done all that I can do. Whatever goal that you have in mind, I want that to be a goal that will challenge you, something that will make you stretch. It was Osborne who said, unless you attempt to do something beyond that, which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? that you talk yourself out of it. Whatever it is, bring it back out there. How are you going to do it? That will come to you in due time. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you had. Practice makes what? Absolutely not. This, this just dislodge that from your mind. Practice only makes improvement. Perfection doesn't exist. You need to take it out of the dictionary. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. Practice only makes improvement. You can always better your best. You have not done your best work yet. As long as you're here, you have a chance to transcend yourself. So don't believe in perfection. It doesn't exist. It only makes improvement. See, God gives us a lot of things in life. But it's a couple of things he don't give us. And time is something he gives no one. Time settles down for no man. So the question is, how much time you gonna waste? If you want to be successful, 
here's the thing you have to do. You have to jump. There is no way around it. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. Now, a lot of times you stand on the cliff of life and you see other people soaring by, gliding down like a bird flying through the air. You see them dressing like this. You see them in New York, then you see them in London. They flying by, you know why? It's cause they parachute open. But the only way to get your parachute to open so you can soar, you got to jump. Now here's the problem. Here's the problem, my friends. When you jump, I can assure you one thing. You listening? I promise you this. Your parachute will not open right away. No, that's the fear part. I promise you your parachute will not open right away. You're gonna hit them sides and them rocks. You're gonna tear your back out on them cliff. You're gonna, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna get wounded. You're gonna get some tears and stuff like that. But eventually, the parachute will open and you'll be sore. But here's the other caveat. Let me teach you this right here. If you do not jump, I promise you one thing, your parachute will never open. So you safe, but you will never soar. You got to jump.